so here is a triangle okay and they want us to measure the shorter side accurately in centimeters and of course to also measure the largest angle so before you even do this make sure you guys have a nice ruler okay one that's measured in centimeters it should say centimeters and a protractor you know something that looks a bit like this a semicircle shaped um, measurement instrument tool and I want you guys to just try and find the shorter side I've already done this and the key idea is to literally place your ruler to the edge here and then try and measure it okay try and be as accurate as possible okay just make sure the zero touches the tip of this line tip of the shape so let me just put it there and over here if you may, if you look carefully the unit should be um, let's have a look let me zoom in you can see that it's, it's actually 5.7 I've checked the mask scheme and thankfully the answer could be in a range of like 5.5 .5 to 5.9 so you could even say anywhere between this um, sorry 5.5 .5 centimeter to 5.9 centimeters any of these would be perfectly fine but for my case it would be 5.7 okay anyway if you did measure the rest of them I've already checked it would be something it wouldn't be as short if you measure this one you realize it's bigger than 6 it's nearly 7 so that's long and of course you don't need a ruler to tell that this is clearly the bigger side the longer side it stretches from one end to the other now how to do the second one since this is the longest side this means opposite must be the long, the widest angle it makes sense if this is long then this is clearly the widest angle now let's let's have a go measure it so the key point is that when you use a protractor the tip of this this part has to hit the center right here okay so let's make sure it has to be completely perfect okay and then, then you look carefully at the protractor and then you see okay where is it cutting through so this is zero and it's going all the way to at least in my one 145 degrees again the solution actually allows us to go between 143 to 147 degrees my one says 145 so i think it's safe to say that this is probably the closest answer or the best answer to write so make sure it's around those values yeah